This is Vinyl Voices Radio. 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 ESPN 97.5. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Newman. Testy from Day High.
Final Voices is back on here on ESPN. Justin Deas, I'm John Denman. He is Daniel Donato. And we have moved from the upstairs to now we're in the green room where all the all the relaxation stuff happens before the show. That's where it should happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. But you know, a lot of the times it doesn't. You know, everyone's running around. And... Just a few feet behind us through the old bank vault where we are now at Rockefeller's, Eggie's on stage. So that's what you're hearing as well. If you can hear it, it sounds good, right? <laughs> it's part of the show. It's going to be like, yeah, you know, they put the little bumper music under. Right. We just, this is going to oh, be a natural. It's great. Yeah, natural bumper music. Yeah. All right, so the next song we're going to talk about is High Country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a song that I personally felt like I had to kind of uh, really listen to a few times because it is kind of that song about, you know, get out of the city a little bit. Yeah. You know? And I'm like a city kid, so yeah. yeah. But you know, I'm digging it. High country is is kind of a love letter to wanting to get to just a higher place in your life, you know. And uh, country music has this bandwidth to where you can uh, you can kind of make up a story that that is real in terms of values, but not, it might not have actually literally physically happened. So I wanted to kind of create a character who was in a city and wanted to leave and get out of there, you know? Yeah. And uh, that's where that one really started taking shape for me. Yeah. We, we were, uh, we just finished like a two or three days worth of driving. And we got to an Airbnb from Tennessee all the way to Colorado and we arrived in Colorado and there is this sign pulling into the Airbnb. It was like High Country Lane. And then Will Mustang took out his upright because it was like 12 degrees outside. You know, you didn't want to leave it in the van. He right. Schlepped it all up three sets of stairs, and he takes the bass out and he starts playing. Do ba da ba da 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 do ba da ba da 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 da. Yeah. I think I took my phone recorder. Yeah. Yeah. And off to the races. For right. That's so cool. Like, we've talked about three songs, and they totally all came together in such different ways. Developed differently. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got to be a witness as much as you're a producer. Right. Yeah. At least I do. Yeah. In that moment, though, what there was something that just got you. It was like, okay, I, I understand it was the riff, but it was still something like... I'm sure you're around musicians, you're a musician, people are riffing all the time, all the time. But, but there's something about that moment that was just like, I'm gonna get this. Yeah, that's the non-linear part of it all, and then there's this great running truth, it seems to be, about Neil Young, where it's like, if anything strikes him as fodder, he archives it right then and there. It could be at dinner, he'll tell somebody to stop and you know, talk it and write it down, or you know, hear something recorded. I like that. You know, I, I like that idea. Yeah. Uh, everyone's riffing at all, all the time. You know, birds could be riffing. Um, right. You know, all the time. You know, you traffic. Know, yeah. Traffic. Yeah. <laughs> you know, buckies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I probably should write things down because uh, you know I'll come up with great ideas. And I'm like, man, or, or even song lyrics, right? And it's like that is the beginning of a good song. Yes. And then three days later, I'm like, what yeah. was that? Tom T. Hall, in his book on songwriting, he said, relate, don't create. You know, and um, that might be too much of a, you know, it's cool to create weird scenes and uh, you know, Tolkien-esque worlds that did never happen but could have. But, you know, just relating and, and writing things down that happen all the time, you know. Sometimes I'm so inspired by watching a... I'm drinking an espresso in the morning before we leave for the next gig and I'm watching a mom and a daughter walk in a park and it's like, oh, it's so moving and I'll start hearing something and then, you know, I write it down. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because it's all music. Yeah. It's all frequencies, right? Boy, oh boy. You know, that sounds very abstract and woo-hoo, but I mean, 
and even to the people that are like, all oh, right, you hippies, it's like, <laughs> I mean, I, you know, I, I would push back and be like, you know, even intellectually, on a scientific level, it's measurably that. Um, so you can't ignore that. Right. You know? I mean, you can, but I, you're not really doing yourself much good. Yeah. It's all frequency, and it's all proof of change, and it's all proof of life. Yeah. And it's a living thing. So. Yeah. I love that. I love that your art comes from that place, and I love that that's a message of, you know, what we're kind of talking about tonight, because we should all be aware of that in our daily lives. No, it doesn't matter if you're a musician or an accountant or a lawyer or, you know, whatever you do, if you can really just be in the moment. Yeah. Uh, that's it's such a hard thing sometimes. Boy, is it hard. I get in a lot of trouble for it. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, living in the moment. You just get in a lot of trouble, period. But <laughs> I like the relationship you guys have going on. This is good. Yeah. This is, this is a funny one. I like it. It's good. Yeah, we've yeah. known each other for a minute. You know. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah, you do get in trouble. I, the truth may start a fight. You know, it historically has. <laughs> that's right. That's the price that's right. of it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, yeah, no, we were talking about that a little bit in our phone talk, uh, discussion that, you know, sometimes it's not pretty, but no. yeah. yeah, but it is what it is. So. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. But I, I really just dig that idea of just being just present, you know, just having that uh, sense of, that you have about you that is something that you're sharing with your audience and now we're sharing too is just take some time to really just not think about what's coming next just take your day and put some daniel donato on and like just really you know soak into it i, I love that thank you yeah thank you i really appreciate how generous you guys have been in, in supporting my music what's the what's the longest song that you've written Ta like wise. time wise yeah. um there's a, there's like two or three songs that are going to be on the next album that are pretty long um, in composition and lyrically. Yeah. You know, um, Lord of the Rings, though, is three movies. Mm. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, so. Right. Well, there's just some people that need more than like three to four minutes to really get their head right, right? Yeah, that's So the that's thing. why you can do like a 10, 15 minute song, and those are, that's for those people. It's also why we put out every, every show we do on the road online. Every single show mm -hmm. uh, w within the week. Uh, lately, it's been within 48 hours. Every show is online in really high frequency quality audio uh, for people to go listen to and uh, go back to or discover, you know. Right. Uh, you know, because I'm a subscriber to uh, the hypothesis that people's attention spans are not short, but their consideration span is very short. Right. And rightfully so. Because right. everybody. And every corporation, every entity, every brand, anyone with anything is trying to get your attention, your money, right. or your time, right. or your data. Yeah. You know, everybody's trying to take something from you now. Right. And you know, right, maybe give some things in return, but everybody's asking. Right. Least. And so our consideration span is is tremendously short, I think. You know, uh, but our attention span is remarkably long. <laughs> Remarkably, people listen to four-hour podcasts every day. All right, day, you know, that's, true. Uh, that's a lot of time. Yeah. People come to our shows for three hours, and then they get mad if we don't do an encore. <laughs> uh, I think if you know, if, if you're worth considering to a certain person, then they will uh, attend to you. Sure. Uh, you know, so we just try to set up as many opportunities for people to consider us yeah. cosmically as they can. Nice. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. You know, it's a, that's the thing, that it's always looked at like, oh man, they're living the dream, you know. You are, you know. The, yeah. Think about things, I, what, I, what I've noticed about a reality is there's this, you know, yin and yang, we know what that is, right? There's this little principle called as above, so below. Right. Right, it's like an iceberg. You know, there's part of it on top that you see and there's a lot of it underneath that you don't see. Right. Right. Everything has a light and a dark to it. So that means it's real. Yeah. You know, if there's a shadow to what it is that you're observing, that makes it a real thing. Um, and dreams have that, you know. And the lines between dreams and reality are very, very finely um, nuanced. Right. Um, so if you are living the dream, good things and quote unquote bad things are happening. 
Right. You know, and right. that's that's what's great about you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and being able to acknowledge that is very mature. Oh, right <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. But again, you know, you're just a you're just a student of music, the world. You know what you're doing. You just did that on time, Jesse. <laughs> Come on, that was the music. <laughs> that was great. I'm, I'm look, you know, this is a musical show. <laughs> yeah, that Timing is everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's great. It's great. Well, as much fun as yep. it's been, we do have to wrap it up because we're only allowed so much time. But Daniel Donato, thank you very much. Thank you, John. It's been a whole lot of fun hanging thank out with you. you. Thank you, Jesse. Daniel. Yeah. And like you said, you can find him online. Go watch any of his shows. Yeah. Like this yeah. show tonight that we're watching it will be posted by the time this airs. Oh, for sure. And probably a couple others now. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. yeah. Check them out. For lucky. Yeah. Find them online. Thank you. Daniel Donato and the Cosmic Cowboys. Cosmic Country. Hey, both. Oh, man. Both. I've only like barely made it through one year. Yeah, and I'm already doing it. You need both, man. Yeah. You should. <laughs> At least once a show, I get what's, the name of my own show wrong. Oh, yeah. And what's a country without a cowboy? <sighs> it's not a country. <laughs> now, that's, that's what we end on right there. That's yeah. it. <laughs> All right. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to this week's show. You can listen to any of the old ones. Find us all over the internet, dark webs, and the rest of the funky places online. And um, Justin Dejas, John Dimon. Jason Esparza and DJ Muskratch, who was not here tonight, but he's the one that made it sound good. Appreciate you everybody listening. Talk to everyone next week.